We are the Herbert Irving Comprehensive Cancer Center. We offer a special type of cancer care in New York, such that we incorporate all the subspecialties into our cancer care program. The last seven years has seen an explosion in how we approach problems with, with patients with, with cancer. In particular, there have been major discoveries in, in how tumors grow and how they develop. Many of these discoveries have been based on understanding the basic mechanisms of cancer growth. I see four major efforts that we will be working on in the coming year. The first is that of personalized medicine. One of the major advances have been discoveries that cancer cells are driven by particular genes or proteins. We could think of them as the Achilles heel of the cancer cell or a cancer switch. And what we've learned is that every cancer cell is distinguished by their own Achilles heel and their own switch. And we've taken that one step further, and that is we've developed drugs to block the switch or to tackle the Achilles heel of that cell. And by doing so, it'll stop the cancer cell from growing and or even kill the cell itself. This is going to be happening across the country, but we have the resource in your Presbyterian to put this in place immediately and take a major leadership role in developing the first personalized medicine programs across the country. The second is that of immunotherapy. Over the last five or seven years, we've become aware that the immune system is a critical part of why cancer cells grow. It's been thought of for many, many years that, you know, what is it about the immune system that can't fight cancer? Five or seven years ago, a major discovery was made that identified the switch that turned off the immune system. And once that switch was identified, a drug was then designed to turn on the switch and reactivate the immune system of the human body against the cancer cell. And by reactivating our immunity, will therefore be able to fight cancer. We're already seeing major advances in this, and some to the point where we're curing patients for the first time by this method of reactivating immune system. So this will be a major focus in the next several years for the New York Presbyterian Hospital and the Columbia University School of Medicine. A big part of all cancer therapy is not just the science and the drug development, but how we approach cancer patients. The medical care we deliver to the patient must be compassionate so they feel like they're not just a number in a clinical trial. They're not just a number in a program, but they are a person. We can't just be scientists. We have to merge the science with humanity to be successful. And New York Presbyterian Hospital will deliver this type of cancer care to their patients here. And then finally, the other part of my mission is to make sure that when patients come here, that there is a multidisciplinary approach. There'll be a team effort so that they just won't be seeing their medical oncologists. They will also see their the surgical oncologists, the radiation oncologists, a team-based effort for treatment of care. So when people think about where they want to come for cancer care, they think of New York Presbyterian Hospital, the Columbia University Medical Center, and the care that we deliver at the Herbert Irving Comprehensive Cancer Center.